Hi, welcome to That's Vegetarian, and I'm Karen Buchholz, your chef. Today we are going to make chili con tofu, and in order to do that, we're going to make it nice and easy with having a bunch of canned ingredients. We have our tomato paste, our diced tomatoes, we have an adobo sauce, don't worry, we're not using the whole can. We have some kidney beans and some black beans, as well as some tomato puree to give it a little bit more tomatoey flavor. I like to use three different types of peppers. We're going to use red peppers, green peppers, and yellow peppers. Got the tofu in place of the carne, as it being chili con tofu. And what I did to the tofu is I froze it first. It's up to you. You can freeze it in the water or drain it and then wrap it in foil and freeze it. But what freezing does to tofu is it makes it gummy in texture like ground beef. So we'll be able to use it that way. We have some fresh diced tomatoes. And I like to put a little bit of corn in my chili as well, so we'll put about a half a cup to a cup in there. And last but not least, we have some onion that will dice up and some minced garlic. So let's get cooking. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is saute our onions and garlic in a little bit of olive oil. Maybe about a tablespoon of olive oil is plenty. Okay, we'll add our onion. We'll let that cook for a little bit before we add our garlic. I have about two tablespoons of minced garlic. I like garlic. You can alter the amount of garlic and onions that you use based upon your own taste preferences. So you want to saute the onions and garlic for probably about four minutes over medium-high heat until they get soft. If they get a little golden brown, that's fine as well. At this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the chili powder. When you do Indian cooking, they tend to add the spices to the heat before they add a lot of ingredients. And that is exactly what I'm going to do right now. Chili powder incorporates the cayenne, the cumin, the oregano, salt, and so forth. We might add a little bit more of those individual ingredients as it cooks based upon the spiciness and the flavors we want. So we'll just let this cook for about a minute. You can just smell the chili powder just absorbing into the onions and garlic. It is so fragrant. Now we have that block of tofu that we're going to crumble up. And you'll see how it crumbles so nicely as compared to if you were to use the fresh tofu without freezing it. Because tofu absorbs the flavor of the spices, I'm going to add just a half a teaspoon more of the chili powder and stir it up into the tofu, onion, garlic mixture. You only need to cook this maybe for about three to five minutes. Okay, so now we're going to add a bunch of the other ingredients and it'll pretty much cook on its own. We have one red pepper, one pretty big yellow pepper. Now, if you don't like any particular pepper, like I'm not always too keen on the green pepper, but I do like it in the chili because it is a little bit uh, more bitter and the red and the orange and the yellow are a little bit sweeter, but I think it adds a nice contrast. I'll just give a quick stir. To make things easy, I drained the beans. It's up to you whether you want to drain them or you want to put them in with the juices. I am going to add the fresh tomatoes. I used about three average sized tomatoes. I have the diced tomatoes in a can. And that's nice because they have a little extra juice to them. Tomato paste. Here's a key with the tomato paste. So not only did I take the top off, but I also went around the bottom with the can opener. So then you can just push through 
and voila, you have most of the paste out of the can. So we'll just mix it up, get the flavors to mix together. We'll put some of the chipotle peppers with the adobo sauce. I'm only going to put in about a teaspoon because this is pretty darn potent and I don't want it to become too spicy because it's easier to add spice and much harder to take it away. So after cooking for a bit we can judge how this goes. We do need a little bit more liquid. So I am going to add my tomato puree. I put in about 14 ounces to start because it's easier to add more liquid than to take away. We'll give it a good stir. The colors in this chili are just phenomenal. You do have the white from the tofu, so that might give it away to those carnivores, but you have the beautiful reds from the tomatoes and the yellows and the greens from the peppers as well as the black from the beans, and it's just a really pretty, pretty dish. All right, so the last ingredient we're going to add is the corn. Give it one more stir. I prefer to use frozen corn over canned corn because I believe that the frozen corn is not as mushy and it has more flavor. If it was in season, I could potentially take some fresh corn and cut it off the cob and that would just be absolutely delicious. All right, it's all stirred up. I'm going to put the lid on and let it simmer for about a half hour on a medium low heat. When the chili con tofu is done, serve it up in a bowl and you can garnish it with cilantro, cheese, or tortilla chips. Mm. That's vegetarian. <laughs>